What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can see by the title, we're gonna be doing another trying on eBay wigs under 10 pounds. I've already uploaded this video a couple of posts back. However, you guys really seem to like it. So I am back with a part two. For today's video, I picked up another five wigs all under 10 pounds, which we're gonna put to the test, see if it looks anything like the photo and whether it's worth the money. If you guys haven't seen part one, make sure you click the link in the eye after watching this video. I'll also leave it down in the description. But without further ado, if you guys want to see what wigs I purchased under £10 this time, then let's get on into the video. Okay, so I'm looking at my eBay right now, and this time I actually made the effort to really, really read about the wigs in the description and in the title. I ended up buying all the wigs that only had the word lace front in the title. So I really hope that we get some lace fronts, although for £10 and under, it's very unlikely. So the first wig that I purchased is this one right here. So this one costs cost me actually a little bit over £10. This one actually cost me £12.59. In the photos, it looks amazing. I've always wanted a really long blonde wig because you guys know I used to have blonde hair. However, it was just so hard to maintain. So I think wigs are definitely the way to go when it comes to blonde hair. So I'm pretty sure that this is the wig that's meant to be the blonde one. It looks kind of dark in the packaging. So I'm actually really quite scared. I really hope they didn't send me the wrong one because I will be very, very upset. Okay. So so it does look blonde, but it kind of looks like a dark blonde. And I'm guessing this net doesn't help either. <laughs> this is the wig. It feels nice. It feels soft but it's not like the photo right off the bat. Like the photo was so blonde, it was so icy. However, this one is darker than my actual blonde, so it's definitely not like the photo at all. The second thing I noticed is that this definitely is not a lace front. This is just like a normal wig. There's nothing lacy about it. There is no lace, so they really shouldn't title it lace front. So far, the eBay listing is very misleading because this definitely does not look like a lace front wig. However, the one in the photo is 100% a lace front. I've got to say the wig does feel really nice and soft. It has a tag in it, which is really strange. Oh God, I just pulled out so much hair. What the hell? And again, if you guys watched my previous video, you will know that a lot of these wig companies, especially when they're really, really affordable, what they do is they actually don't blend the hair that's underneath. So as you can see, the top layer of this wig blends out really nicely from like the root into the darker blonde. However, when you lift that layer off, it literally is just like the blonde that's just blonde. <laughs> this wig definitely looks a lot like my hair because it's got that fade going through it. I was really hoping that this would be a bit more blonde, but it turns out that it's like a really light brown slash dark blonde, which isn't ideal, but let's try it on anyway. I've got a lot of hair, so I need to put it in a wig cap. This is my least favorite part because wig caps make my head hurt. Does anyone else have this problem? Honestly, I just get such a bad headache after wearing a wig cap. And we're back to looking like an egg. Literally, this is like the hottest I've ever looked on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Let's crack this wig on. I'm actually really quite nervous. Oh my God, what is this? This hair, no, it's doing the same thing as the other ones. It's like, as soon as you put it on, it just doesn't look good. I'm actually speechless. <laughs> I am actually speechless. This looks horrendous, like bad, like all kinds of bad. <laughs> this looked a lot better in my mind. Like I thought, yeah, it's not lace front. Yeah, it's not blonde like I thought it would be, but I thought at least maybe I can make this work somehow. <laughs> all this hair is going everywhere. <laughs> Okay, the only good thing about this wig that I'm finding so far is that the hair is quite soft. Um, it is getting tangled just a tad. Okay, so this literally looks ridiculous. Like, this is making my head look such a weird shape. <laughs> okay, so the two plus sides of this wig is that the hair is really nice and soft and also the fact that the hair isn't too thick. Some wig companies don't know the right balance of hair. Like, sometimes wigs can be really thick and look really unnatural and sometimes they can be really thin and just literally have like five hairs on the whole wig. This one has like a nice balance. It's not got too much and it's not got too little, but it's just not really right. Like this whole top portion 
looks really wrong. I do quite like the color of the actual hair though. Like even though it's not what I expected from the picture, I think it's still a really pretty color. And I actually think this quite suits me. I feel like I would actually have this hair color. This is when I put a hat over a wig to try and save the situation and see if I can make this wig look any more wearable. This wig is getting so tangled so quickly. Okay, moment of truth. I've got a bubble hat. Let's pop it on and see if this saves the day. Okay. I see you, hat. I see you. You just saved the day. Like I said in the previous video, a hat just makes everything better. Whether it's a bad hair day, whether it's a really, really inexpensive wig. It just, it just washes the problems away. I think I need to invest in like every color of every hat because this is just working for me like on another level. I am sold, I am literally sold. Look how long this wig is as well, it's so cute. But for real though, you'll definitely see me wear this wig and even though I thought it was gonna be a fail to begin with, it has redeemed itself. Like I think the hat definitely helped but I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up. Okay, so the next wig that I bought for this video is Another pink one. You guys, honestly, the last wig that I tried that was pink in my previous video, you guys went nuts over it. And to be fair, so did I. It was really, really nice. So I thought I would get another one. The other one that I got in the last video was kind of like salmon-y. It sort of had like an orange undertone to it. Whereas this one I think is a lot more pink and it's also a different style. So this is it. It's got major curl. I am living for this. This one right here was only £7.49, so. That is very, very affordable. I am, however, a little bit nervous about this one because the cut of it is completely different. Like, it actually has a bit of a fringe, which you kind of have to style yourself. And if you guys watched my previous video, you can tell that I'm no good at styling wigs. So this will be a little bit of a struggle. Okay, I've got to say, I'm actually really nervous about this one because I don't know if this style of wig is going to suit me. Okay, so far this wig seems very small. I can barely get my head in. <laughs> so that's not a good sign. Is this how it's meant to be? I'm so confused. It's so small and tight. Okay, I'm gonna try and like, I just don't know how this is meant to be. Okay, so far I'm really confused on the styling. Like, where am I meant to place the hair? I'm so confused. This is just very strange on all kinds of levels. <laughs> I honestly thought that this kind of had a fringe but there is no fringe. I don't know how I thought this had a fringe. I need to get the photo up. How did the model wear this? Wow, I am so, so disappointed. So this is the photo that they're trying to sell me and this is the actual wig. And to be fair, I didn't expect great things. However, with such success from the past video, I thought maybe this wig would be at least somewhat acceptable. But no, it's very strange. I don't even understand what this parting is meant to be like. So this side is a lot shorter than this side. So I'm guessing maybe it's meant to be worn a little bit more off to the side, but then it literally overlaps my ear right here. I mean, that definitely looks a little bit better, but it's not great, is it? I'm guessing maybe it needs to be a bit more of a side comb over like this. I don't know, I'm so confused. That looks better, but this parting is just so weird. Like I can't have this showing. I just don't understand how it's meant to be styled. This is the best I can do, literally. What is this? And what are all these little short bits of hair? I'm so confused. This is such a shame because this wig had a lot of potential to be really cute and it's just really ruined it for me now. I'm gonna attempt the middle parting yet again. This literally looks horrendous. I'm gonna try and like comb it out and see if that helps. <laughs> this wig is very difficult to work with. You know what? Now that it's parted in the middle, it doesn't look half bad. Is this how it's meant to be? Still, I don't think this is acceptable for the public eye. So I'm gonna do the hat test. I've got a matchy matchy pink one this time. So I think this should solve the day again. <laughs> okay, I was gonna almost give up on this wig, but it's cute now. Right? It's cute. Okay, it's still not the best. It's definitely very shiny. It's definitely very, very tangled, but it's a lot better. I heard that one way to make wigs like this look a lot more natural and less shiny is to actually spray some dry shampoo through it. So I'm gonna put it to the test. This part here is looking very shiny. So let's just spritz it. <laughs> This 
doesn't look any better. I can't tell. I'm gonna try and brush it out a little bit. I really don't want this wig to lose its curls because I think it's really cute, but it's just really doing my heading with how tangled it is. I feel like it looks a lot better than it did at first, let's be honest. Let's have a little flashback of how it looked when I first put it on. Yeah, it looked horrendous. But now it's actually half decent. And I think with this hat, it really complements it because obviously it's matchy matchy. Also, I want to try it with this little headband as well and see if that... I just broke my hat. No, that's quite cute as well. Oh, I really like that actually. This just goes to show you can get a cheap wig and you can make it work with just like a hat or an accessory and you're good to go. Now, the next wig that I'm gonna try on is another one that's kind of out there. It's very colorful. And this one totally made me think of Kylie Jenner because she's always has really bright colorful hair with like a really dark root. So when I saw this photo on eBay, I just had to get it. It looked so cute and for 10 pounds, that's a bargain. However, this is what has turned up in the post. Um, yet again, it's one of those wigs where it's got like five black hairs at the top and then the rest is all one color and somehow you're meant to spread all of these black hairs all around the circumference of your head, which I think is literally impossible because no matter what I try to do, this part does not look right. It just looks so fake and unnatural. If they're gonna do this sort of thing and have like an ombre effect, they really should add a lot more of like this black hair so that it actually covers the head. So there's definitely is gonna be a little bit weird. I'm probably gonna hate the root. However, I actually do really like the color. It literally looks like a highlighter pen. So let's try it on and see how it looks. Okay, it's on. This is what it looks like. <laughs> I love the color of it. This wig is basically like the brown one that I tried at first. It's literally the same style, um, the same hair quality, and it's even got the same sort of like root. I mean, look at that. Look at those gaps. If it was all like this, like this chunk right here, it would work. I'm actually really sad because I thought this wig was gonna be really cute. And again, with all these wigs, it said that they were lace front. However, I mean, sorry, but that's not lace front. But it's not like I expected it because like I said, most of these wigs are so cheap that honestly, I just did not see them being a lace front wig. So I've managed to make the front part of this wig look okay. The back definitely does not. <laughs> so I think I need to rescue this one with another trusty hat. Should we be fancy and pop on a beret? Oh, okay. Okay. This color definitely does not suit like a fancy beret, but it looks cute. I'm gonna try it on with a different one. <laughs> I'm not mad at it, it's kinda cute. I'm just sad about this root situation because this wig could have been so nice, it's so soft, and it's not even getting tangled. Like, why isn't it getting tangled? This is cute. I like it. It's definitely not for like everyday wear and I feel like for photos or for like Instagram It would be cool. The next wig that I have is actually a black one This is kind of like a shoulder length black sort of bob. Um, it's kind of curly as well It actually looked really cute in the picture. This was only £7.99. So I don't really have high hopes However, it's kind of giving me like Snow White vibes, but we'll see. We'll see Well <laughs> What is this? This literally looks like a mop. This is a look. This is a look. Okay, let's break it down. This wig is very interesting. It's very poofy. Um, I'm trying to think of how I would style this. I'm gonna try and like maybe have a little flip over moment. No. <laughs> I'm gonna try the other side. Maybe that will work better. No. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how I feel about this one. I don't really know how to work with curly hair because obviously I don't have curly hair. This is just a lot. Like it's a lot to process. There's a lot of volume sideways. However, this part here is very flat. In the photo, Obviously the girl that's wearing it, she's got like a slight curl to it. It looks very nice. It's definitely her natural hair though, isn't it? It's not a wig. And this wig right here is like crimped to the gods and I just don't know how to even tame this. It's not terrible. Like it doesn't look that bad right here. There's definitely volume. Maybe you could like smooth it down. But unfortunately I do not have time for that and I just don't know if that would even do anything. So this is it. This is my mop. I don't even think that a hat can fix this. Let's try this thing here. Oh God. No, that's making it worse. <laughs> 
I look ridiculous. I don't understand. How do I make this wig work? I really want to. I've always wanted to try black hair, but this is just like confirming that I shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I think this one is not for me. It's definitely falsely advertised and it looks nothing like the eBay listing. So I'm gonna give this one a thumbs down. <laughs> now, the very last wig is this one right here. It's a very long, very wavy brown sort of wig. Now you guys have recently been saying that I should go back fully brown and I feel like this might give us a chance to, you know, experience that before it actually happens. So this is the wig. What is this? What is this exactly? I'm not gonna lie, I had hopes for this one. It doesn't look that bad from the back, apart from the very bad, really, really light highlights. Um, but the front, I mean, come on. Like, really? Why would anyone have just like two random chunks of like lighter hair right here. Again, needless to say, this wig looked really good in the photo. I'll pop it on screen right now. It was £9.31, which again, bit too good to be true for the photo. I get it. I wasn't conned. I kind of knew what I was doing, but I wanted to, you know, I wanted to play the system. I really wanted to make it work. Let's see how this will look. Oh my God. This is going to be awful. I'm starting to miss that black wig. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> this is awful. If this was like spread out a little bit, maybe it would look better, but because it's so close together just here, it just looks like a really bad highlight job. I don't think my hat can even fix this, but we're gonna give it a go. Does that look any better? I mean, it's definitely hiding the fact that these lighter brown bits are basically coming from the same hair follicle, but it's still not the best. Like, Mm. I'm gonna have to give this one a thumbs down. I'm gonna put my favorite one on for the outro of this video so I don't look like an egg. You know, now that I've got this one back on, it looks so much better in comparison to all the other ones. As I said, this one is definitely the winner for me this time. I really actually enjoyed the pink one as well. And even though this wasn't what I expected, I definitely really love the color and I'm definitely gonna be wearing this in the future. Let me know down below which one of these wigs was your favorite. I feel like this one was a little bit more of a fail than the first video that I did. A couple of weeks ago. Let me know if you guys would like to see more videos like this and also which of these wigs was your favorite? Would you actually ever purchase a wig from eBay? I feel like I'm doing you guys a public service by buying them and reviewing them for you guys so that you guys don't have to. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up just down below and also don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you here. And also don't forget to check out part one, but that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah!